Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at this four digit seven segment display. And if you have not already, please uh, check out my episode about uh, one digit seven segment display. A lot of things are already described in that episode. And now I'm going to show you pinout for this component on the left. So as you see, uh, we have uh, eight pins from A to G plus decimal point pin. And we have four other pins, D1, D2, D3, and D4. This particular component, it's common cathode. That means that if you want to activate segment A on a first digit, you should apply 3.3 volts to A pin and then 0 volts to D1 pin. But now, if you want to display two different numbers at two different places at the same time, you have a problem. In order to do it, you have to perform switching sequentially. So using our microcontroller, in a first iteration, we are going to turn on all of segments on a first digit. On a next segments, we are going to deal with second digit, third digit, and so on. And we are going to continue that repeatedly. And what I want to do at the end with this project, I want to add value of 0.1 at every second to total that is going to be presented on this display. And next part of this tutorial I'm going to record on my screen and first I'm going to show you schematics and then we are going to deal with the code. So as I said, first we are going to describe schematics. So pin 23 uh, from our microcontroller, it's connected to a pin on all of four uh, digits through this 220 ohms resistor. Pin 22, it's connected to B pin, pin 21 uh, to C, uh, pin uh, 19 to D, 18 to E, uh, 5 to F, 17 to G, and 16 to decimal point. On another side, with these uh, black wires, we have connected our microcontrollers uh, to common pins on our digits. So we have connected uh, pin 25 to first digit, 26 to second, 27 to third, and 14 to fourth. And now we are going to deal with the code. So I kept some code from our previous episode and it's strongly recommended for you to uh, watch episode about single digit uh, seven segment display in order to understand everything properly. And for now I'm just going to describe this piece of code in order to continue. So uh, with uh, this uh, array of integers, uh, lights, we have eight pins selected from 23 to 16. These eight pins on our microcontroller are connected to segment pins on our display. And in this array of Boolean values, we are actually keeping states that we are going to use for switching. Now we have this uh, turn off uh, function that we are going to use to turn everything off. With function verify, we are actually performing switching. And with function filter, we are setting everything up. And what is with uh, this uh, structure nums? In here we are using lists of integer in order to uh, describe our numbers. And I'm going to use few examples in order to show you what we have in here. For example, for number one, we are activating two segments, segment B and segment C. With number seven, we are activating segments A, B and C. And for example, uh, with uh, number zero, we are activating everything except a middle segment. That's why we have these six elements. And now I'm going to show you what we have in these functions. Uh, with function turn off, we are actually setting everything in our state to false. And with function verify, we are actually perform switching. So we are iterating uh, through our uh, array states and we are turning on on turning off segments in regards of whether we have value true or false. Filter function, it's a little bit more complicated. So first thing that we are doing in here, we are turning everything off. Then we are checking this number element. This is number that is actually going to be displayed. So in case of number zero, we are checking every element of uh, num zero array and we are setting state of that very same index to true. And we are performing this process with every single number, just with different array that actually represents description of that number. And in here we are checking uh, for a decimal point and we are performing switching with our function verify. So now in order to deal with uh, four digits uh, seven segment display, I'm going to uh, update this code. So I'm going to add another list of integers, call it diodes, we need four of them, 
and that's going to be 25, 26, 27, and 14. Those are actually four pins that we are using to connect uh, to common cathode on our digits. And like we are using uh, states for segment, now we need uh, another bool array. to keep records about our digits. So we need four of them. And because we are now dealing with multiple digits in a function filter, I'm going to add one more argument, diode. Structure nums is going to remain the same. And now I'm going to uh, update this uh, turn off function. I'm going to copy this code. And now we are going to deal with only four elements. So we have state in first part and now we are dealing with digits. Digits of i is going to be set to true. And why is that? Why are we setting uh, false with states and uh, true with digits? If we want to turn everything off, because it's common cathode, we need to apply zero volts to common pin in order to work. And now we are going to update function verify. So we are dealing with four elements now, like this. We are dealing with digits. And in here, I'm just going to change from lights to diodes. Let's update this function filter. So I'm going to add one more argument, int diodes. This is okay part. Let's go to the bottom of this function. In here, I just need to add one more line. Digits, diode, set to false. This basically means that we are applying zero volts to common pin of digits that we want to work. Okay, this is this part it's done. And let's deal with void setup. I'm going to copy this for loop from here. Set pin mode first. For lights. Set all to output. Let's do the same for digits, but only four of them. No, it's diodes. We are dealing with pins in here. And we are going to perform turn off. So we are going to set everything to off. And we are going to perform actual switching with function verify. And now the most complicated part, make some space in here. Okay. But before I start working with void loop, uh, we need a few variables first. So first variable that I need, it's actual sequence. Sequence set to zero. That's cool. Now I need one long T that we are going to use to store time and one more integer array of four elements set everything to zero with this array we are actually going to hold numbers that are going to be displayed and now first thing in our uh, void loop I am going to ask for value of t if it's zero I'm going to set t to milliseconds. Basically, if this is uh, our uh, first iteration, just set value for t. And second thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to call function filter. We are going to display number from this n array with index of sequence. And now I need decimal point only on my uh, third digit. Sequence equals two if is set to true, else 
set to false okay and digit is going to be sequence so in our first sequence we are going to uh, display uh, first a number from uh, this n array in this case that is zero we are going to have decimal point only on uh, our third digit and in this first case uh, while a sequence is zero we are going to deal only with this first number now what this actually means i am checking for time difference first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to add new value to a t variable so we are going to wait another 1000 milliseconds i am going to add value of one to last element of this list so to fourth element and then when that number reaches 10 I'm going to set it back to zero and I'm going to add one to previous element like this I'm going to copy this piece of code few times don't worry I'm going to explain everything in detail so in here we are dealing with uh, another index and in here we are dealing with second element all right this is fine so on every second we are actually uh, adding one to this last element and this is actually last digit that is going to be displayed but then when this number reaches 10 we are resetting this number and we are adding one to this previous one in that way we are going to perform counting and next part in this code so we are done with this loop now we are going to deal with the sequence number so if sequence less than four add one to that number else sequence set to zero and finally i am going to delay for three milliseconds so this final part it's not something that is going to be same on every microcontroller i noticed that on my node mcu esp32 microcontroller this is the best course of action so if you notice that your numbers are not displayed uh, properly Try adjusting this number, it may solve your problems. And finally, I'm going to upload this piece of code. Okay, I have some typo. Yeah, I'm going to remove this last letter. Should be fine now. Of course, next part I'm going to record with my camera so you could see final result. So guys, as I promised, here is our final result. On uh, every second, we are adding value of 0 0.1 to total. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.